I'm a busy mom. Between dance, swim, making food, therapy sessions, work, parenting, I also homeschool. And quite frankly, it's, it's exhausting. But one of the hardest things for me to handle is making sure that their schoolwork is done correctly. Now, I'm not a large family mom. I just have four kids and one of them does have special needs, but that means I technically have four sets of assignments to look over and grade and, and check. It's actually really kind of hard. So today I'm gonna talk about curriculums for the busy mom and today I'm specifically going to be looking at mathematics because, well, math is a little bit more time consuming and needs a little bit more extra attention and can be a little challenging for parents and kids. If you are interested in seeing other videos about curriculum for busy moms, let me know in the comments down below. So my name is Leilani. I am a former public and private school teacher and I do evaluations in the state of Florida for homeschoolers. And this is your reminder to subscribe. It's down there. So for mathematics, we use teaching textbooks. And here are approximately four reasons why I think that teaching textbooks is great for the busy mom. Good morning, it is therapy day, which is basically all day therapy for Naomi. We're out from nine o'clock to about 2.30 p.m. and we still gotta homeschool. So it's raining. I packed all of their school stuff in here, including an iPad somewhere. It's in there. I packed it, trust me. Now I brought the iPad because we are gonna do teaching textbooks on the iPad and yes, we are offline. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So we have urine math four. We're not gonna look because it's your password. All right, so we're on quiz 14 today. In this problem, you need to tell whether the sentence is true or false. Bouncing a check is when you write a check for more money. Excellent. Here, you're supposed to tell whether this sentence is true or false. A yardstick is five feet long. Yes. Okay, so right here, he has one where he has to write that out. And we have paper, but can you show me another way? What did you push? You pushed scratch pad, right? Oh, you can move that around too. That's nice. Exactly. But I'll be honest, sometimes we just want to use paper instead of the scratch pad. Not because the scratch pad is bad or anything like that. I mean, it's actually really good and convenient, but just because I like to get him writing a little bit more using that hand-eye coordination with the pencil, so. How much money will he have in the bank after he makes the deposit? So Ethan, do you like doing it this way or do you like doing it from a book? That way. Another thing that I really appreciate about teaching textbooks, and honestly, I just recently discovered this, is the emails that they send me. Most of the time I see the email and I'm like, great, awesome. And then I just, I delete it sometimes. <laughs> But recently I have been taking advantage of those emails which gives you a really quick snapshot of what your kid is doing and how they're doing. You can check to see their grade, their overall average, if they did their assignment or not because sometimes they might just tell you they did it and didn't do it. That can happen. But having those emails come in frequently, like I expect it now, my kids did teaching textbooks, I'm gonna get an email soon. So I really appreciate those things. But quite frankly, like the parent portal in general is absolutely amazing. It's very easy to follow, to check, and, and simple, super simple. I mean, I wanna see what my kid got. I can look it up super quick. I can see if they finished it, how many they finished, how many hints. And it's so useful because I don't have time to sit and scroll through things all day long, even though I've been known to do that. It's also very pleasing to the eyes. It's not like in tiny itsy bitsy print. It's got color. It's in nice large print for those of us that are losing our sight or for those of us that just want to get a quick little glimpse without getting over overwhelmed. So the emails and the parent portal. Oh, and obviously, which I didn't mention and it should be a point in and of itself, 
uh, they grade the assignments for you. I mean, that's a that's a big that's a big plus for the busy mom. But I, I think a lot of us know since it's an online program, it's pretty obvious. But if you've ever sat and graded math assignments before, you can understand how amazing it is that you don't have to grade math assignments. Oh, another thing that I like to do is if my kid gets something, you know, below an 80 or so, I'll go back into the program and I'll find out what problems they got wrong and I can look at them, I mean, super quick, find out what they did wrong and then I can go back and help them correct those mistakes if it's something that I feel like they need to do. However, they actually have a tutor that you can contact and the kid could sit there on the phone and they can kind of help walk them through some of the issues they may be having if the material that they already gave them with teaching textbooks hasn't helped them already. Because I mean, the kids are getting stuff like hints, they're showing them how to do the problem if they get them wrong, it, they've got lots of different tools to kind of help get your child to understand how to do the math problem. It's, it's like a, a, a fail safe. And number four, the last thing that I think is so amazing for the busy mom with teaching textbooks is you can trust it. It's not something that, you know, you stick in front of your kid and you can walk away and then your kid starts cheating on the answers because that you, you can't do that with teaching textbooks. I do talk about that in my other teaching textbooks video. I'm gonna stick a link up there, you can check it out. I go in depth, I talk about it from a teacher perspective. It does address middle school specifically, however, a lot of the information that I give in there talks about things that would pertain to elementary and high school as well when it comes to, you know, things that I saw, you know, academically that helps strengthen the child's mathematics skills and also pushes them to the new next level very gently so they don't feel overwhelmed. I talk about all those things. So check out that video. You can trust teaching textbooks, and I probably should make a video called You Can T Trust Teaching Textbooks, and here's why. So, <laughs> there also is a link in the description box below that'll take you to the teaching textbooks website so you can check it out, get a closer look at how they operate. Once again, my name is Leilani, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna stick some videos around my face right now, and I hope to see you guys in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe, click on that like button, share, all that fun stuff if it was helpful. Take care, bye.